Do you want to start streaming on Kick, but you don't know how to set alerts for your stream? Well, this video will show you how. You've probably heard about Nightbot and Stream Elements, two famous online services for Twitch alerts. However, you've probably realized you can't use those to set up your stream alerts for Kick streaming just yet. After all, Kick is relatively new and it's still in beta. And so for your Kick stream alerts, we'll be using Botrix. This is also the first time uh, for me setting up my alerts for my Kick channel. As you can see, I am sitting on that pretty big O in case any of you want to drop me a follow and tune in sometimes. Uh, now with that shameless self-promotion out of the way, click on the first link that pops up in Google, Botrix, which will take you to the home page. As you'll see at the top left corner, Botrix is in beta, so there might be a few bugs. Just give it time. And you'll realize, um, well, you need Twitch or YouTube to log in. And there's no kick option just yet. <laughs> just kidding. Go ahead, pick one option, uh, whichever account you have, and connect with Botrix. For me, it will be Twitch, seeing as I already have a Twitch account. You can go ahead and ignore this, no need for premium yet. Now, once you're signed in, you will see an option for Kick. So go ahead, click on sign it with Kick. Type in your new username and password. So once you type in your username, it will provide you with this link and it will ask you to make Botrix a mod in your channel. So copy this link. You'll also open up a new window. Type in Botrix will be the first one with the green tick. Click on that and add that to your channel. Now, another way of um, adding Botrix to your channel as a moderator is just go slash mod Botrix. This will return an error for me because, well, I've already added Botrix as a mod in my channel. So this is just another way if you cannot get the other way to work. And before you finish up, you want to click this little code that it gives you. Copy. Click on the link that it provides. Takes you this little chat. Paste the link you just copied. Enter. There we go. It's been successfully linked. Go back to Botrix and finish. Let it do its thing. And voila. Here you can set up your subscription alerts, gifted sub alerts, follower alerts, raids, bits, etc. Obviously, me being at zero, I'm only going to focus on the active. Oh, sorry, the follow alerts. Uh, the rest I will inactivate for now. So, we'll actually keep the raids on. Here, you can play around with the style of alerts you want. You know, the duration, the fades, and all the special effects, the colors. So, pick whatever suits you, and I will teach you how to integrate that into your OBS so it shows up on your kick stream. You scroll down the page you can see you can upload your own custom images and sound and it even gives you an option for custom code once you've played around with your settings and you're happy click save now we move on to integrating these alerts into obs for kick i'll give you a little url make sure it's not visible to anyone else so you want to copy that and go over to your OBS where we will add those alerts. So here under sources, click the plus icon, click on browser, all this alerts, click OK, paste the URL you just copied from Botrix, click OK. And here we go, you have your Botrix alerts installed in OBS for your kick stream. Great thing is you only need that one link for all your alerts, whether it be subscription, gifted subs, 
uh, followers, raids, etc. You just need to activate it, style it to however you want it, and it will be active in your kick stream. Oh, and make sure your alert box is at the top. Otherwise, if it's buried under all the other layers, you will not see your alerts. Yeah, I'm going to make sure the alerts are actually working. So I'll go back to bot tricks come back to the top of the page. And because I only have the followers alerts active, I'm going to click on the followers and hopefully it works in OBS. There you go. Once you finish that step, it gives you this option. Here, you can go to settings and it will now link with your kick directly. Now, if in the future, if it ever reverts back to Twitch, what you want to do is click on profile. It will bring you to this page. It will give you this option on the kick. You just click it and it will make kick your primary platform. Now, Botrix does have a plugin or an add-on for Firefox browser and Chrome, but because it's still a work in progress, I won't be integrating that into my browsers just yet. Um, as you can see, I've tried it out. It seems to be a bit buggy at the time of this recording. So maybe in a week or two, I'll try again and see how it is. Uh, but you can go ahead and add that to your browser. It just allows you to sync up your followers and check your, you know, alerts that it is connected and on. So you don't have to go into the website and just a quick way of doing things. Uh, but yeah, for me, I won't be uh, using it just right now. You know, that you've set up your followers and subscription alerts, don't neglect to set up your chat alerts. Click on this chat box, click on modules and make sure you activate chat alerts. You can also go ahead and customize your chat alerts as I've done here to whatever you want. Click confirm, save, and you're done. Make sure once you've set up your chat and you've confirmed those settings, you also confirm every setting here. So it actually saves and activates in your chat. Voila. Thank you all for watching. If you found any of this content useful or if you have any more questions, to drop a follow uh, on my YouTube on uh, Cake and reach out to me and I'll try and help you out. Thank you. Bye.